Our next reggae loop is reggae loop number three on page 14. Now this is going to be a little different because we're changing up the rhythm a little bit as well as changing keys and you're going to learn a couple new chords too. Let's look first at the rhythm. Now in the first two loops we've been playing the combination of eighth notes and quarter. Eighth, quarter. Whereas here we're going to be playing those all as eighth notes. So you'll see that the first chord is an A minor 7. So now we strum it like this. And again, I'm using a swing strum. It would be one, and we're also changing keys. Now, we're starting with an A minor seven key. The third measure begins with a D seven sus four, which we know, and then a D seven. Moving the second line to a G chord. And you can use either regular G or the 2, 3, 4 G, whichever you like. And now on the seventh measure, we have a new chord. This is an E7 suspended 4. So if you look up at the chord chart, basically, if you finger an E7 chord and add the third finger, on the third string, second fret, that's how we're getting our suspension. And then that's going to resolve in the last measure to an E7 chord, which then will take us nicely back into A minor 7. So here's how this loop sounds. Ready and one. to beginning Now the previous loop and the one before it also were in G whereas now we're in A minor 7 so that's a nice transition up from G up to A minor 7. But feel free to take this strum, the two sets of eighth notes, and use it with the chords in the first two loops. So again, you can mix and match aspects of these loops, and again, you can paste this one on to the second reggae loop and the previous reggae loop number one. Each of these loops is eight measures long, or 16 with repeats. So you paste these three together with repeats, and you've got a nice 48 measure pattern, which could accompany, again, instrument playing, movement, vocalizing, etc. So that's reggae loop number three.